Hello? Okay, okay. Karen, Karen, Karen is going to be asking the question, question, and she's and just now, now getting ready to ask us a question. question. Okay? Okay. Well, who are you? Well, I, my name is Reed Mullen, and uh, this is Woody. Yeah, I'm Woody. And uh, Phil can't be here, and Bob is not in the band anymore, so, you know, skew. Where did COC start, and what is the present lineup? COC started in... Uh, oh. <laughs> what? COC started in... Uh, 1982. Uh, yeah, early 82. No, June 82. June 82. Well, whatever that is. Is that early? That's Late mid. 82. Mid-82. About six years ago. And we were, we were DC Hardcore Thrash... <laughs> we were straight edge and we were punk. What, what is the present lineup? And we still are. And we still are. And I'm straight edge. What is the present lineup? Okay, I'm Woody, I play guitar. And I'm Reed and I play guitar. No, I play drums. And uh, Phil is our bass player. And we don't have a singer. Yeah, right now we're singerless, but uh, we're looking vigorously. So if you know anybody who wants to sing, tell them to fly on over. Yeah, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll probably, try them out and we'll try probably them like them. Who writes your songs? Everybody. We all pitch in, um, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a group effort. Uh, uh, we all come up with different riffs and, and things like that, and uh, we compile them and, uh, and, you know, we arrange yeah. them, and uh, that's about it. What is the scene like in Raleigh in terms of shows, crowd turnouts, and police presence? No shows. There's no, no good show. <laughs> well, there's... there's Psych! There's good shows. It's been a little dead this oh, winter. I'm just kidding. There's a lot of shows here. Uh, Karen, the, the girl that's asking us the questions, is a local promoter, and she brings a lot of bands in, so that's cool. She's like one of the only people left around here that does it, so... Uh, yeah. You know. Thankless job, I must say. Mm hmm But um, the, the, the scene's okay. There was a, um, just a box set of of, um, of records... Seven inches. Of seven inches that was put out. What was it called? It was a palindrome, know. whatever it was. I don't know what it's called, but there's like four local bands put out. Wax, Angels of Epistemology, Egg, and Slush Puppies, and Black Girls. Yeah. All put out these seven inches, and it's really cool. And that, that, that's been the only thing really musically happening locally. There's another band called Confessor that did a demo. They're sort of like Old Black Sabbath or Trouble, kind of like those real heavy bands meet Rush. And then there's also, there was a band called Days Of that were sort of like um, uh, Rites of Spring from D.C., yeah. They're pretty cool. Other than that, uh, police, uh, as far as police are concerned around here, it's uh, uh, there's not really much problem. You know, you get Usually a speeding ticket every once in a while, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, that's about it. Usually they just hang out in South Raleigh and beat up on black people. Yeah, which kind of sucks, but hey. You just answer the next question. Is there any local bands we're looking out for? Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Okay. A few local bands. Would you regard COC as a crossover band or just hardcore? Uh, Well, just a, a hard mm -hmm. rock band, I guess. You know, I don't know. Just, what are we? Labels are, are kind of lame, you know. It, it, it's we're hard we're to definitely say. not a crossover band. I mean, that's. I think we're. There's a little more to us than that. I know? think we were. We were kind of around before there was a crossover band. Weren't yeah, there? I mean that 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 sort of popped up after we were already in existence, you know. So I mean that that's sort of a mute term with us, you know. I don't know. Yeah, we like a lot of heavy metal bands, and we like a lot of punk rock bands. Uh, we, we like a lot of, of uh, 70s rock bands. We like a lot of jazz bands. We and like Woody's really into polka, and I'm really into uh, sex. Yeah, so we, we got all uh, the bases covered. You know I'm what I mean? kidding. Next question, please. Okay. What is your feelings on the crossover issue as far as metal attitudes starting to creep into hardcore and seeming to affect bands like DRI, suicidal tendencies, etc.? That's a good question. I, um, it, it depresses me. I, I was hoping from the beginning that it would... It would make a few changes in the in the metal scene and it would become the punk scene would become a lot bigger but unfortunately the metal scene has gotten a lot bigger and the metal attitudes have, have gone in it and I think those examples you just made were really really good ones and I think uh, you hit the, the nail right on the head there that, that a lot of people are just kind of going for the gold and forgetting about their roots and stuff and and I think that's a shame are you recording any new vinyl at present any uh, new vinyl at present? Well, the, the vinyl itself is not being recorded right now. We're doing a lot of demos for the next album and stuff. And um, we have a whole bunch of, we have about ten ten new uh, ten new songs. Yeah, we, we we pretty much have enough for the album and stuff. We're just waiting uh, to get the right singer and um, waiting for the right sound of the studio, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we're, we're sort of like without a label currently too. So yeah, we're not on Metal Blade anymore, thank God. Yeah, Technocracy was our last release on that but uh, Eye for an Eye is getting ready to be re-released here in the States 
so it, it and, and also in Europe, so it, that that will be available again in Europe, which is kind of cool. By the way, the reason we put out Technocracy and the reason it was so short was to get off Metal Blade Records because Metal Blade Records were giving us the shaft. And uh, one of the th what? Metal Blade. Metal Blade. And one of the things that uh, we wanted to put in the record to uh, make it seem like it was worth something to somebody uh, was a big lyric sheet, and it didn't come with a lot of the copies that were issued in. Uh, in Europe, so if anyone didn't get one, then uh, they can write to us and we'll send them one for free. What? Okay. Are you planning to play in the UK this year, and is it true you will be bringing the band Blast with you or any other band as support? Well, uh, uh, we really, yeah, we, we expect to be... We, we expect we really want to really come, but, uh, you know, it, it, it'll probably be much later in the year. Uh, Blast broke up for a while, but I think they just got back together. We'd like to go with them. Um, just because they're really cool guys. If not Blast, you know, incredible band. we'd like to bring some other band with us. I don't, I don't really know who, but uh, somebody we, we all like. SNFU or... That would yeah, be rocking. Somebody cool, yeah. Government Arnold, issue. Government issue, that would be cool rocking. Yeah. So I don't know, it all depends. Okay, has the departure from COC of Mike Dean been one of the reasons for a delayed COC European tour, and what was the effect on the band of his departure? Well, yeah, that, I think that was one contributing factor to the... To the uh, to our delay, you know, especially uh, getting overseas because we had to work at a new basis and all that kind of stuff. But uh, as far as him leaving, I, I, what I think it's been uh, uh, sort of like a, a motivation for us to get busy, you know. Yeah, things were. I mean, he he, he was a big songwriter in the band and stuff, but. Uh, um, but I, I think his his, uh, his 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 contribution to the thing to see if he really started to fade out in the last half year he was in the band and. It, he was really starting to slow up the band, or slow down the band a lot more than uh, than people probably think. Um, things are really hopping now, though, and hopefully we'll be in uh, in Europe this summer. Do Maybe. Do, do it. Do it. Read the question. <laughs> do COC ever get offers to sign to a major label, and would that be a thing that you would consider? Uh, uh, we we've been we've, it. we've we've been talking to people that um. Yeah, we have been talking to majors, and uh, I, I think that might be something we would consider because we could reach more people, and uh, the opportunities are a lot better. But I, I don't think we do it in a, under any situation that was uh, uh, and, and an un, uncompromising kind of. You know yeah, know I mean? we, we, we have to be able to do our own situation. thing, you know, musically, lyrically, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and if if that wasn't the case, if we have to compromise and or sell out or whatever, then we wouldn't do it. We'd stay, we'd do with whatever. Do with what, what we've been dealing with. Do any members of COC have jobs or is the band your living? We all, and, we all have yeah, jobs. We yeah. all have jobs. But we, there's no way we could let off the band with the way the way it's going. You know? Okay. Plus, well, I mean, we, we, Reed and myself both work for our parents, so it's, it's sort of like so a... It's real slack. Well, and also, it's, it's uh, a big help to them, you know, because they... Uh, are stoked. Yeah, you know, they can trust us, and, you know, and we do good work and all that kind of stuff. What do you fix it? Clocks? Yeah. And I sell Compu rips. Reed sells computers, so, you know. Hey, skip! Musical in what are your musical influences? Well, bands we like, that, that'd probably be a better example. Influences, you know. Yeah, influences that's that's kind of hard to say. There's that's so pretty, many influences, you know. That's pretty vague. I mean, you know, Here you go. Like Reed, Reed, Reed would have his own influences, such as... Uh, well, Reed's influences range from... Well, no, you tell your influences first. Oh, what, here's what he's influences. Uh, my influences are like, uh, oh, who is my influence? Geezer Butler? No. Tony Iommi? Bands. Say bands. Say bands. Bands? Uh, Sabbath. Old old Sabbath, of course. That's about it, really. ZZ That's Top. it? ZZ Top. Old really? Sabbath. Yeah. Wow. Uh, mine probably are like Old yeah. Sabbath, Metallica, Minuteman, Crass, Minor Threat, Bad Brains, Black oh, Flag. a lot. Uh, you have more than me, that's not gang, fair. Gang of Four. Ramones are cool. I the like Jam, Ramones. the Buzzcocks, the Ramones. Thank you, Reed, thank you. Uh, that's enough. Is it true... Is it... <laughs> is it true in the rumor that Simon Bob's tattoos are supposed to be more <laughs> eye-catching than those of Henry Rollins? That's very true. I mean, there's no doubt about that. He has the most eye-popping, eye-gouging tattoos ever <laughs> engraved on a human's body. There's no doubt about that. You should see the ones that, like, he doesn't show anybody. Woo! Yeah. Skew! <laughs> okay, next question. Are any members of COC... He likes a lot, by the, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Are any members of COC vegetarian? Reed is. I am. That's it. 
Simon Bob was before he left the band. And now, and, uh, now he eats meat because. Does he really? No, I'm just kidding. He, he's still a vegetarian, but he's not in the band anymore, so it doesn't count. But uh, yeah, I am for political reasons rather than health reasons. I, I'm a meat eater for health reasons. I like being unhealthy. What are your views on the? Sorry. What are your views on the no more censorship issue and the recent court case involving Jello Biafra? Well, it's it's great that he won. Um, I thought he got thrown out. Well, it, that Same means he thing. won. Yeah. Oh, okay. It got thrown it's out. Great so that he won. In essence, he won. Um, as far as censorship goes, I mean that's pretty damn obvious. We we don't want to be censored, you know, like as as much as anybody. So the else Constitution does. was for freedom of speech, right, guys? Exactly. So we say yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Right. Yeah. Excuse. Constitution, I mean, that, United States. Yeah. That, Praise that, the Lord. That's sort of obvious. Apple how we pie. Feel about that. But uh, yeah, Tipper Gore about is the only one left. Tipper Gore and people like Jerry Falwell are the only ones left in the censorship front. And everybody pretty much thinks Tipper Gore is a. Uh, what do they think she is? A stupid uh, hound dog. A stupid hound dog, so, you know, she and her husband are losing a lot of face. Yeah, exactly, which um, is cool. But in terms of censorship, um, seems to me a lot of record companies censor their bands anyway, so. We have enough as it is, so, yeah. you know, we don't need any more. Hey, scoop! Okay, finally, would you like a copy of my zine when I have them printed up? Sure, of course, definitely. No doubt about it. That's it. And it, and it do, do, do we mention about uh, the lyrics? Something about lyric sheets in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Our, our, uh, if anybody wants to write us, our, our address is. Uh, I guess it's. I guess you've got our address, and you can print it. Yeah, it's on the label that we're sending you, so you know. And we'll. Um, if anybody we'll, wants to ask wants us a lyric sheet for technocracy, you know. yeah, or if wants to write, or whatever, you know, just tell them to write us. We'll be into it. And thanks a lot. Skip.